All right, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your own puppet. I'm not really going to be doing anything with Aiden or my new cat puppet I got, but I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these little puppets. They're a lot of fun to make, and they're super easy and super cheap, too. And there's only a few materials that you need. This one I decorated to be a witch. I think we made this at a workshop in 2013. I think it was a Halloween one, or it might have been during the summer when we made them. can't remember. But uh, here's this little witch. Uh, Hello, and this is another Rocky Mountain Tuppets production. Hope you guys like this. So you only need a few materials to make this. First you need a square piece of paper, any color, doesn't matter. So if you're making a red monster, maybe, maybe the red paper is good. And just, this, on the, this is a, on this thing it's a garbage bag. So literally any recyclable material you can use to decorate, to make whatever character you would like. But you will need a square piece of paper, some yarn, string, and then you'll need a, you could have a bendy straw or a straight straw, it doesn't matter. Then you need scissors. And then you need some tape. Let's get started. Alright, so I have the camera angled down so you guys can see a little bit better on what I'm trying to do. First you need to have this piece of paper be perfectly square. All sides need to be the same length, and each angle needs to be a right angle. First, what you need to do is fold your square piece of paper in half, like that. So then you have a crease going down the middle. The next thing you need to do is you need to take the outside side over here and fold it in to the middle crease, like that. So you see how this side right here met with the middle crease. That's what you need to do to both sides. Let's do that to the other side really quick. Alright, so like that. There we go. And you want to end up making a W. So you want to fold your crease that you made in the middle to begin with the opposite way. So you end up with something like this. And you end up with a W. Wow. The next step you need to do is you need to fold all the corners on the outside of the square paper inward to the crease that's sticking up. So you want to have your paper sticking up like this as you're folding it. Just hold it like that, it's pretty easy. And you got to do this to all four corners. Like that. All right, now that that's done, you need to, so this middle, yeah, it looks like this so far. So if you have it like that, you're in good shape. The next thing you need to do, this little part, that's this part that's sticking up in the middle, you need to fold the corners opposite sides. So for instance, I'm gonna be folding this corner right here inward to my left side. It's easier, so you just gotta it's, you can bend it now, whatever way you guys would like to make it a little easier. Like that. Do you see how I folded it in this way? That means I need to fold this one in this way. This just makes sure that the puppet has more reinforcement. Now, this is where the tape comes in. You need to tape down the sides right there, the ones in the middle that we just folded. You need to tape it for extra reinforcement so that way the puppet doesn't tear. Then you fold it back. And another thing you should do, because we will be, so if you're having this face towards you, right, so just have it laid flat on the table right now. Another thing you need to do you should put a piece of tape right where the corner is, right here, because we'll eventually be putting a string through there. This makes sure that it won't rip it off. We'll do this right now so it's a little bit easier. Grab your scissors, make the slightest cut in the paper right there. So now, 
when I end up opening this, you're going to see a little hole right there. So when you fold it in, then you should open it up like this. You end up having a boat. Now the next thing you need to do is you need to fold it like that. This part's kind of tricky. So you want to fold it. This is We're making the head right now. Fold it in half and pinch the sides. So then you end up with something like that. Pretty cool, right? Now, my hole, you can tell where the hole is because the tape was right there. I can open it and you can see it now. That's where I cut the scissors. Now, let me show you the next step. All right, so now we're moving on to the next step. So you have your puppet head completed like this. The next two things that you'll need is your straw and string that's about 16 to 20 inches long. You want to make sure it goes a little bit above the straw, about three inches worth, two inches worth, yeah, if I can hold the string, like that, because this part is, being go is going to be going inside your puppet's head. You want to have enough below, so probably about this much, so you'll be pulling it, and I'll teach you guys how to pull the string so you don't break your puppet that you just made either. So what you need to do, I have a bendy straw right now, so I'm going to put the bendy part towards the top to treat it like the neck. So this little hole right here, you need to stick the straw through the hole completely like that. And another thing to notice, you see how I can, the straw is above the crease right here? I want to make sure it's not, otherwise it's not going to be able to shut completely. So you see how I, it's hitting the top of the straw right now? You need to pull it down below the crease like that so that puppet's head can shut completely. The next thing you need to do is you need to get tape and you need to tape it from the paper down through the straw like that. Then you need to go to the other side. You don't want to squeeze the straw at all otherwise it could inhibit the string from passing through. Um, there's that. All I'm doing is I'm pinching where I'm leaving, I'm not making sure, I'm making sure I'm not pinching the straw at all because you need to be able to see down through the straw, otherwise your string will not be able to go through. Then you have something like this. Next thing you need to do, you need to take your string and you need to put it through the top right here. This is going to be kind of gross but it's okay. It's the fastest way to get it through rather than just feeding it through completely. You need to hold the string so you don't inhale it. You need to suck on the straw. There you go. So now you have something like that. Now I'm going to pull it through. So now I have the string up here. Now I'm going to leave plenty of slack so I don't accidentally tear the puppet at all either. You need to get the tape. You're going to end up taping the string where the top is right there. So get your tape. And then you just tape it down like so. So now it's taped down. Then you don't want to pull too hard, otherwise it will rip here. So give it a little boost first. Do that. And this time try and bend it as much as you can in the back. So now my back looks like that, so it's going to make it a lot easier for it to um, bend the mouth and it won't put as much strain on the string so it won't break. And you, you just don't pull on it too hard, like don't yank it, otherwise you will completely rip it out. Um, you just got to pull it like that and then you have your puppet. And then you can decorate it, so like I did with this one. You have some googly eyes. If you don't have, if you don't have googly eyes with you, you can go to the store and get some, doesn't really matter. Or you can get a marker, draw on them, and you can make them like this one. Uh, I'll probably just make a monster out of it, and I'll show you guys my final product here at the end of the video. Um, so they're a lot of fun to make, and kids at workshops love making these. It's the easiest thing to do. Like, as you saw, it took me um, maybe not even five minutes to make this entire puppet. And the fun part comes in decorating it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy your new puppet.
Uh, Larry. Larry's the name. And here's my little monster.